today on the Blink Show, as you can tell from the fact that there's a Weaving Angel there, and the fact that I'm holding a Sonic, we are going to be doing Doctor Who. Alrighty, first let me get the TARDIS, uh, alrighty, first the polarity, and, oh, that was good. So, of course, I'm going to ask, I'm going to see if there's anybody in there, but, Hello, Doctor. You there? Are you in there? Ready? So there's the eleventh Doctor, played by Matt Smith. The twelfth Doctor, played by Peter Capaldi. Alrighty, and of course we have beside him the lovely Clara Oswald, played by Jenna Coleman, who we saw at Comic Con 2016. And of course, there's the Weeping Angel over there. Alrighty, so now that we're done with the introductions, let's move on to the TARDIS. Now, of course, this is a very awesome build. It actually took me a while to get this built together because of these things that I kept getting wrong. Meh, get one of them all, I guess. There, I like the detail on this. Because they actually made a special piece that you can insert things that actually look like stuff from the actual TV series. Now, of course, the part I like the best is that when you take off the roof, open these up, and then flip it open, it turns into the entrance to the TARDIS. Now we shall go look inside the TARDIS. Alrighty, so this is the inside of the TARDIS. They really outdid themselves with this build. Now, I like some of these things because of, well, I'm a big fan of the show. But I also like how they actually use this grappling hook piece for the big lever that does... <laughs> That goes, that makes the TARDIS. And of course, they made some specially printed pieces. Those screens there, print, exclusive printing. I'm gonna bring this up to you. And this is those little curver things, I think, that are on the TARDIS. They're one of the start, the boot up sequences stuff. Of course, there's also the outer one, which I think spins the whole mechanism. And of course, there are two dashboards where um, some other miscellaneous stuff is put. Of course, you can't have a you can't have Doctor Who without thinking about these guys, the da the Daleks from the planet Starro. That's actually my best Dalek was. Now, the actual thing I like about this is that they made a lot of pieces exclusive to this. Well, not exclusive, but very good. They actually made a specially printed disc just to get the top of the Dalek head. As you can see, there are those giant lights, which I don't even think they need. And of course, they also have the suction cup and the blaster. Now, of course, let's move on to the minifigs and this awesome Sonic. Of course, let's start off with the coolest, Peter Capaldi. He has some really good arm print. He has some really good printing. This piece has been used before for a lot of people, including Peter Venkman. And, of course, this was the suit that he wore in Time of the Doctor. Well, it's technically the next guy, the 11th Doctor. Of course, this is his uh, Amy Pond, but he does actually fit with this TARDIS. Of course, now we move on to Jenna Coleman, which actually has those duly printed legs that I really like. And of course, we have the coolest, well, second coolest, of these minifigs, the Weeping Angels. I actually kind of like how they use these clear double studs to make the angels' wings. 
Now let's move on to this, Sonic. Of course it has all the basic functions of all underground toys, Sonics. It does, it, but this one's cool because this is, because this one extends like this. Press this button, spring loaded action. And of course, two sounds. Of course, it is a pretty cool set and a pretty cool toy. So I think that's all for today. But don't thank you and please subscribe and like this video. And please subscribe and like this video. And share to all your friends and family members you love. Bye-bye.